What's up everyone? My name is Pi with SRLounge.com. You guys can find me on SRLounge.com or on Facebook.com forward slash SRLounge. Now in this video, I want to walk through our overall new production setup for our post-production videos. So we're going to talk about lighting, the gear we're using, and so forth. But before that, let me show you something. I got another camera setup, which means I can do this. And then I can go back to this. And I can go back to this. We have our awesome camera guy here, Joe Cha. He actually runs all of our behind the scenes stuff here at SR Lounge and uh, he kind of keeps us running. So we have him on a steady cam and I'm going to get up now, pop this little audio piece in my pocket and we're going to seamlessly just walk through our setup. Let's start over here on our main camera. Okay, so we have the main camera is just this Canon 6D with a 35 millimeter lens on it. This is the 35 millimeter image stabilized lens, which again, we don't really need image stabilization because it's mounted and it doesn't move. But this is the lens we actually use in the Photography 101 DVD. Be sure to check out that workshop. It is coming out soon. You guys can check it out on srlounge.com, but it's going to be an amazing workshop to get everybody into photography and get you taking great pictures right away. So we thought after we shot, let's keep this lens lens because it's kind of perfect for the setup, the focal length and everything works really well. We have the 6D and the 6D is actually mounted to a Mifoto tripod. This is, I believe, the Mifoto road trip and it's the aluminum variant in orange, which we call Frodo. Can you see it? It's called Frodo. Our lovely Joe Cha, again, who I already introduced, has named all of our tripods out of beloved Lord of the Rings characters. That way he can just say, get me Frodo, and then we automatically go get Frodo for him. Anyway, that's just a side note. Now this of course is kind of an overkill tripod for this use. Me photo tripods are amazing. They're very lightweight, they're built well, they have a great warranty, and obviously this is kind of more than what I probably need for this application, but I use it anyway here. And it's also nice to look at because it is orange. Now on the Mi Photo, you can see that I have here tied the Cam Ranger. The Cam Ranger gives me all that control and access that I need for this camera at my iPad right there, which I just have off to the side of my screen. That way I can set my focus, I can record and do everything that I need to do. And while some Canon cameras and Nikon cameras do have wireless built in, the Cam Ranger gives me a little more options and more flexibility. Over here, as far as the lighting goes, okay, so with the light, we have this Genere set, and I actually bought the Genere 3 light set from B&H. Now, the 3 light set comes with basically all three lights that you would need for an interview type setup. It comes with the stands, it comes with socks, it comes with everything, including dimmers as well. It was, I believe, around $1,150, and there's a rebate right now, which I don't know how long it's gonna be good for, but it's 400 bucks off. So we got the entire thing for 750 bucks, which is an absolute steal. And given that it was so inexpensive, I was kind of expecting the overall quality, the light output to kind of have color tinges and not to be kind of pure daylight balance. I was expecting the quality to not be that great. I was expecting to have breakages and so forth. And really, for the price, it's been absolutely awesome. I have no complaints. We did have a little issue with one of the dimmers, but b &H just swapped it out on that. And since it's been up and running, it's been absolutely wonderful. We don't have any green color in the, uh, the LED, which is something that we oftentimes see. We see a little bit of color shift in, say, LEDs or particularly in fluorescent lights. This really it has none. It's really nice, puts off great light. And in front of it, I have a little scrim here. This scrim is just a white translucent cloth that we picked up from a local cloth store, and we call it the Casper. It's our white little Casper the ghost. And all this does is just soften the light a bit. You can see that we do have a sock on the generator, but it still is a little bit harsh uh, compared to placing this uh, little diffuser in front of it. So we just have a diffuser boomed out in front. Tons of A-clamps, as you guys can see. A-clamps are kind of a studio staple. You need to have a lot of them. All right, let's go around to the other side. Let's talk about our hair light. Now on the hair light, we have the second generator. So again, it came in a three light set. This is the second one. We have it boomed out and it's set to a pretty dim level. All we want this to do is just to be able to add a little bit of a kicker, a little bit of a rim light to my body. That way when I'm recording, I don't blend in with the background so much. So that's set there. There's nothing really too special about that stand or the lovely sandbag on it. Going over here, we have another LED light. And let me check the uh, brand on this one. Actually, this one is a Generate 2. And this uses the standard Sony batteries too, which, uh, which is kind of awesome because we have a lot of LEDs that use that exact same battery. This is set to a much more warm color temperature. And the reason why is because I kind of want a little bit of color in this scene. We have this daylight balance over here. And in the background, I thought it'd be really cool to throw a little bit of yellow on there to kind of create a warm kind of background and atmosphere. I have it placed right here, which is exactly against where the camera records. That way, as I'm in front of the camera and recording on the computer, this background light falls directly behind me. That way it kind of creates a highlight just behind my body and it kind of draws the attention into me because that's what it's all about, isn't it? 
Not really. But going back over here, let's talk about now the actual display and setup and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and take this recorder out so I don't sit on it. And uh, well, first we have the Dell. This is the U2711. I believe that's the right model number. This is an ultra high resolution display and it's uh, what is it? It's IPS. It also it has an ultra wide gamut as well. So it's a really nice display. It comes out of the box calibrated for color, but we still calibrate these. We use the Spider Elite Pro or Spider Elite. Again, I'll link all these different products up in the actual article itself so you guys can see each specific uh, product. But we use the Spider Elite to calibrate just because every month or so it still needs to be calibrated. The LCD changes in brightness, we have color shift and so forth. So we still use a calibrator regardless of whether a uh, display says that it comes out of the box calibrated. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. I have over here my Wacom tablet for retouching and over here I have that iPad display. And Joe, why don't you come around here and show the lovely folks what I'm seeing here. So with this, I can see the exact recording area. I can see where my red line cutoffs are for the composition. We can hit start, stop. We can have full control basically over focus, uh, ISO, everything that we need right directly from my Cam Ranger app on my iPad. It's a great little function. Again, when I'm recording solo in here, I don't want to always have somebody to operate the camera. And this is a great way to be able to do it all by myself. I also have a mirror right there. So I can say, hey, what's up, good looking? You ready to record today? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking you're ready. I do my hair, do my makeup, just my hair actually. Now I'm a little bit of makeup, let's be honest. And today I used hairspray instead of gel. So if you notice this, this mop on my head looking a little bit more full than it usually does, you can thank the hairspray. All right, coming back over here for audio. I have this little audio set up. So this is set up on a Rode Boom and I can just boom it out whenever I need it, place it directly in front. And this is the Audio-Technica 4040. This is actually the studio mic that I used when I used to produce music. I used to produce music a long while back in another lifetime and this was the mic I used. And when I started doing these videos, I thought, well, why not use this mic? Cause it was just sitting around and it's actually a really nice high quality mic. So it creates great audio. I'm going to show you that audio by demonstrating how we record on the computer. We use Camtasia for our, all of our uh, screen capture. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record on Camtasia and uh, my production machine is a windows based machine. My fun machine is my Mac. All right, so once I'm ready to go, I would say, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Post Production Pie with srlounge.com. And that's it. Actually, no, that's not it. I would go into the actual tutorial. But that gives you all an idea. Hopefully, this helps you guys out as far as understanding the equipment, the lighting setup, and so forth in our post production studio. My name is Pie, and I'll see you all in the next video.